So we're thinking today, Jill, how about this? No, Kyle. Okay, what about this then? No. Right, no worries. Um, how about this? Kyle, we've got two World Cup finalists with us today. We need to be professional. <laughs> Take it away, girls. Welcome to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. -E. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. -E. England are through to a World Cup final. We are definitely not going to get sick of seeing that on the show. And we are joined by Ella Toon and Jess Carter. How are you both? Good, thanks, Jillian. Yeah, very, very, very good. <laughs> We're very excited to be chatting to both of you about last night, about the game and about being in a World Cup final. We're going to say it over and over again. But of course, we want to hear from you as well. Any messages of support, any questions as well for the Lionesses, get in touch and use the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. Tooney, can you even begin to sum up last night? And I want to know, did you actually get any sleep? <laughs> no, not really. Um, we got back quite late. We had some chips and gravy, didn't we, Jess? And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, I think from the adrenaline, we, we couldn't get to sleep. So, yeah, we're, we're very tired today, but honestly, an unbelievable night. And, yeah, through to a, a World Cup final. We were looking at this picture and obviously Hempo there being uh, held up uh, by Neve and Millie, but... I was counting up before, and Jess, were you taking the picture? Yeah. Where, where are you? What are you yeah, doing? I was so tired. I'd think I'd already gone back into the changing room. <laughs> I was in an ice bath. I felt like I couldn't feel my legs. I was like, I need to get out of here straight away. Oh, well, I missed a special found, moment. We found the missing one, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I want to talk about last night. You said you, had, you needed an ice bath after because mm. you put in an absolute shift last night. I mean, you all did, but how much are you buzzing that all of that hard work has paid off? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, for me, I feel like it's not properly sank in really yet. I think we've just been constantly on go, 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 like, it's, what, three days and it's already the next one. So I feel like it's not sank in yet, but I'm sure it will pretty soon after that tournament's finished. Oh, and Tooney scoring that goal. The atmosphere was incredible in the stadium. How did it feel to silence the crowd in that moment? <laughs> well, yeah, that's what we wanted. We knew the crowd was going to be really loud and they were going to be against us. So, yeah, to put that top bins in the back of the net. Um, top bins. Definitely, <laughs> definitely quiet in them. Oh, it, it was did. such a good strike. Look that that, that girl's just thinking, please don't go top bins. <laughs> <laughs> And because of that goal, we've got to talk about this. You're the first England player, men's or women, to score in the quarterfinal, semi-final and final of major international Can we give a clap for that? Oh, unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Love that. What do you make of that, Ella? Because that's very special. Yeah, it's not a bad stat, that, is it? Um, one that will stay with me for life now. Um, but, yeah, just it fell to me in the, in the right place and... Probably the best struck ball I've ever hit in my life. So, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, well, no, that's not true. We've seen and trained a lot. Yeah. But, Jess, we've missed you on Lionesses Down Under. We've actually really missed you. Were you thinking, I'll wait till we get to the final <laughs> and then I'll come and see you yeah, That's my time to shine, isn't it? <laughs> now. Now it's getting exciting. Oh, you've been watching, though, haven't you? Yeah, every show. Every <laughs> Look that. There we go. Brilliant. I mean, let's talk about your performance last night because mm. you made some absolute games saving clearances. The defence played such an important role as well just throughout the entire night. Talk to us about how tight-knit that back line is. Yeah, I think we've just kind of gelled really well. I think the whole team as a collective has gelled really well throughout the tournament and there's definitely been things that we've needed to work on. I think we've just had really good honest communication on how we can improve things and I felt like we're really well connected and um, yeah, I think we're doing well and hopefully that can continue. And Ella, we have to give a shout out to Australia, obviously co-host of the tournament. It's been a brilliant tournament so far. It's going to get even better on <laughs> Sunday. But yeah, what have you got to say about... Someone just sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a plan to yeah. see people, I think. <laughs> but yeah, what have you thought about Australia this tournament? Yeah, they've been great. Um, we know how good they can be and, and they beat us not long ago as well. So... Yeah, the country overall has been amazing. They've welcomed and welcomed us. Um, it's been huge and it's constantly growing. Um, and yeah, they've they've had a great tournament and hopefully they can, yeah, they can get that third place in the next game. 
Yeah. And they did manage to pull it back uh, and make the game level before the player of the match, Lauren Hem, <laughs> managed to get that second goal for us. I mean, she's having a great tournament, isn't she, Ella? Yeah, she's been unbelievable. Um, that's just Hempo, though. We know how good she can be. She's she's so fast. She runs in behind. She gives 100% for the team every every game. And, yeah, last night she was on fire. Great assist and a, a great finish as well. So, yeah, definitely deserved man of the match. Yeah, and speaking of that assist, Jess, obviously when she picks up the ball, runs through, feeds it through to Alessia Russo, what are you thinking when you're behind and you just watch Hempel pick up that ball and start running. Do you well, know it's going to be a positive outcome? But <laughs> well, initially, I was thinking, why does she not just set the ball? Like, I think, what was he, 2 1 at that yeah, point? Yeah, don't go to the corner. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So when she started running, I feel like everyone's just shouting to go to the corner and she's off doing her own thing as usual, really. And then, to be honest, I think I thought Les was offside from where I stood. I remember just set up, I just kind of stood there like that. I kind of froze a little bit. But you no, know, it was a great job ball. I think. Probably best pass I think I've ever seen her do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I like more often. Uh, yeah, it's a great ball and an incredible finish by Les. Yeah. Definitely was. That goes in 3 1. And we've got to say it one more time. On Sunday, you'll be playing in a World Cup final. Your faces light up every time you hear it. I mean, it must be special. Ellie, you've just touched on it briefly before, but when we do say that, does it just sink in a little bit more and more? Yeah, it's so special. But like Jess said, the turnaround is so quick that you don't even have time to think about it. And we're walking around the pitch after the game and I think I said to one of the girls, like, wow, we're actually going to a World Cup final. Like, let that sink in. That's something that we've all dreamed of as little girls. So, yeah, obviously so buzzing. And I think it'll definitely kick in when we step out onto the pitch. And Jess, we've seen some pictures from the changing rooms, videos, look like you were having so much fun after. But how special is it to share their moments and create their memories with this team? Look at that. <laughs> Serena is absolutely buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this team has been incredible. The mentality is something that we've spoken about. Um, and I think that everyone's resilience to get through some tough games and moments where we haven't actually had the best performance, but it's been our resilience that's got us through. Every, every player, every staff member is so special to this team and... Um, you know, I feel really privileged to to play with them all. Yeah, were you in that one, Jess? <laughs> yeah, just about. Just right. about. Yeah. <laughs> right, we've talked about the game. I need the inside track now. I need the inside scoop. All right, what happened after? What was the bus like? Because I heard a certain Jill got on it one more time. Uh, what were the tunes like as well? Katie's LMFM, that's what we, we've called it now. Um, was Serena dancing? Was was the, the vibe good? The vibe was really good, yeah, but Serena was doing clips and analysis at the front of the bus. So, <laughs> <laughs> while we were all singing at the back. I like that. Yeah. Toonie did a little performance, actually. I did, yeah. Of what? I, I hope it. no one You'll ever it sees again. it again. Oh, I think I've got it on video. I think that's well, that's got the clip now, I'm joking. I don't even know what song it was, but yeah, yeah. Toonie. Uh, Enjoyable, though. It was people, fun. People, being people from my area will know what song it is. Oh, oh, okay. It was good fun. I'm a, I want to know what it is. Oh, oh, gosh. I mean, and Jess, for yourself, being on that bus, I mean, it must be such a high. And then you're on the bus, you're celebrating, but I'm sure a few people would have dozed off as well because they were tired at the back of the bus. I mean, I think that was me at the front <laughs> of the bus. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know how everyone had the energy. I was so slumped, man. I was like, I just had my headphones in, but I did take him out at one point for a Lotus performance, which was top yeah. tier. Yeah. I've heard about this. That was top tier. That needs to be, there needs to be footage of that somewhere. That was worth taking my headphones out for. Yeah, and... I don't even know what the song was, but you didn't miss a lyric, did you? I heard it was Dizzy Rascal. Yeah, Is that yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to get her to do that 100% yeah very special well it definitely is so well it's not just in the studio where we are absolutely beaming with pride you're so inspirational to everybody and certainly back home as well aren't they Kyle they definitely <laughs> are alright I've got all of these we've had messages uh, coming in from the three lions alright Raheem Sterling we'll start with him he says just one more win he's feeling confident he put that uh, on his Instagram right there Harry Kane uh, posted this one as well. Uh, brilliant at Lionesses. Fantastic achievement. Now bring on Sunday's final. Uh, and Harry Maguire gave a shout out to you, Ella, actually, with a, a little rocket as well. Um, after your goal, it was definitely a rocket. We can see that one. <laughs> Uh, another great picture of it. Going top bins, that's what you yeah. said, right? There yeah, you are. I was going top bins. And can we call her a friend? I think a friend of the Kelly show. Kelly Holmes, now that she's been on the show, uh, she posted this just saying, this is just the best. 
I think she's talking about the team and not her, but she's the, <laughs> best. She's the best as well. Um, and she's also been posting a lot throughout the tournament, hasn't she? So, Definitely. That's on yeah. Instagram, so her stories will still be there. You've got <laughs> videos, you'll be able to go and see them. And the next one, just wait for this, because you guys have got some friends in seriously high places, all right? His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, posted this what a phenomenal performance from the lionesses on to the final commiserations at matilda's you've played brilliantly and been fantastic co-hosts of this world cup w that's how he signs it just w that's all you need uh, a w right there i mean that's quite cool isn't it yeah very nice mm. no, i thought the w meant win oh win oh maybe you got the win uh, no no i think it's him yeah i think it's him. <laughs> Let's move on from that one then. Yeah. I think you could have bought the word win. Yeah, yeah. Was a win. I think he just signs with W. But, uh, yeah. but couldn't do match reaction without heading to box park. So here they are going big after Lauren's goal at 2 1 and full time. Let's take a look. Look at that. I know, those celebrations. No one's guaranteed it's going to be a good good time in Box Park. I've actually heard that people are fighting to get tickets to go to Box Park for the final. That's okay. Apparently it sold out in eight minutes, I heard. Did it? Mm. Look at that. That is mad. Is it nice to see that stuff from home, Jess? Yeah, for sure. I think that, you know, it's... Obviously, we know everyone's supporting back home, but seeing the, seeing the crowd just go crazy just makes everything, I think, that little bit more special. Yeah, it's so nice. And you two are making history. England are in the first Women's World Cup final. Do you actually realise how special that is? Because I feel like <laughs> at the end of the game, I was like, you're playing in a World Cup final <laughs> on Sunday. And Jess is just like... Yeah. 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 I, just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like you're just in it so much and you're so focused that... I don't know, I've been I'm pretty knackered. <laughs> so I feel like I'm just kind of focused on trying to reset, get ready again and focus on those things and not really being able to process kind of what we've achieved already. And I think that, um, yeah, like, like Ella said a minute ago, when you step on that pitch on Sunday, I think it's going to be an, an incredible feeling and maybe that's when it all will sink in. But for now, it's just, I guess she's so focused on recovering and getting ready to go again that, for me, anyway, it's not really sank in yet. Yeah. I think there's uh, plenty of people back home, though, that have processed it because they've already got in touch. They use the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. Believe me, this is the most questions and messages we've had uh, so far on the show, all right? So, Jill, I'll give you the job once again yes. to whittle it down, pick out the best ones. So, okay. what have you got for us? So, I'll start with this one from Charlotte, and this is to both of you. So, Tooney, you can go first. When you walked out of that tunnel, what was the first thought? Well, actually, my first thought was all that stuff that yeah, was blowing was in really our faces. Irritated. And, and there was, was loads really of white <laughs> stuff blowing in our faces. And it, it was, was, it was dripping as yeah, well, wasn't it? From the top. It was like, oh, what? Yeah. yeah no, but it, but it was like it was dripping like, in our hailstones. Like, so, yeah, yeah, so I noticed like, this from being in the stands just behind. And I was like, but the clouds are forming that, and it's dripping down. Because Lucy walked through last, I think. And then I think her mascot got like drenched completely. So Well, I got to Alessio and I said, is there anything in my hair? Yeah. <laughs> so that was the first thing I was thinking about, really. <laughs> Were your eyelashes all okay? yeah. Well, yeah, I did check them before, yeah. <laughs> before I turned around. <laughs> Jess, were you thinking the same thing? Could you hear the crowd when you first walked out? No, I, honestly, it was the same thing as Ella. I was getting so irritated by these little balls going down my neck or whatever. It was, it was really irritating me. So, yeah, oh. it's probably a bit miserable walking out there. <laughs> but then it was all right, yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad the day ended a bit better. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jess, Ash wants to know, what's your biggest motivator before a match? Um, I think just my family, really. I think for me, the, the support that they've given me well, forever and especially in this tournament, it's just been incredible. So I think I always go out, look at them in the, in the crowd, try and find them. And for me, that just gives me that extra bit of, I guess, umph to, to get going again. Oh, nice answer. Ella, Lil's got in touch on Insta to ask, when you scored the goal, what emotions were running through your head? Did you do like three celebrations? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were Talk just in analysis then. And uh, the... It came on and whatever, we were watching the goals and someone went, you've just done about five different celebrations <laughs> in one. <laughs> so actually, I want I kissed my tattoo for my mates and did that because I told them that I'd do that. And then I started doing all mad fist bumps <laughs> like that. <laughs> so, to be honest, I don't know what was going on, but and I ran the complete opposite direction to everyone else. So oh. You did a heart as well, was that for your yeah. family? 
Uh, yeah. Because oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're over there. That's <laughs> like, yeah, saying over there just there. I mean, you get it though. You've just scored that type of goal as well. World <clears throat> Cup semi final. Just going to run wherever. That's exactly. your moment. Exactly. When you're in the moment and something like that happens, you honestly, everything goes out the window and you're just running everywhere. And yeah, it was just unbelievable. What would you do, Carl, if you scored in a World Cup <clears throat> semi final? <sighs> I can't even imagine it because it's never going to happen. So <laughs> I've been trying and dreaming about this for years and the closest I'll get to that is, is Ella doing that last night. So there we go. I'll, I'm happy enough to do that. I'd just probably just run off and who knows. I don't know. Isabel has a question for you, Jess. What do you do for recovery? And then I want to know what's like the thing that you think's the best for recovery? I do everything for recovery. <laughs> uh, I think we, well, I get treatment, ice baths, recovery pumps go back for treatment again, <laughs> spend as much time there. Um, yeah, just those things. But I think that, for me, I think treatment is is the best form just to get a nice proper flush. But reluctantly, ice baths are also very good for me yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You always have your Crocs on. Is yeah. that recovery for yeah, your feet? Yeah. yeah, just comfort is key. You know, our feet are our most prized possessions. So comfort is key. Very How cool. long do you do in the ice bath? How About long? 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Desperate times, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. Tooney, people are actually obsessed with your nan on this show. We'll get so many questions for her. We might direct them to her. She'll go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's definitely not got Twitter. She yeah. can just about answer the house phone. <laughs> <laughs> so people want to know, what did your nan say when you got to the final? Did you give her a call? No, because oh. she keeps red buttoning me. I've called her loads of times this, and she just, I think she thinks she's pressing the green button and she's <laughs> pressing the red. Aww. So now I have to wait for my auntie to go and then FaceTime my auntie. So, oh, okay. yeah, it's not as easy as just ringing me now. Does she hold the phone so that you get like a good view or is she like Oh, here? no, she's there. Yeah. Because <laughs> she can't see me, so she's there like this at the phone <laughs> with a bucket hat on. Oh. <laughs> and Jess asked, this is from Haribo, I don't think it's a sweet. <laughs> you're not getting, you're not getting a deal. <laughs> Who has the weirdest habit of the team and what is it? Oh. You can both oh, answer this. Now, no, yeah. I want to throw someone under the bus, but I'm just trying to think. <laughs> Who's got a weird habit? So, Kira actually said that Georgia doesn't have an inside voice once. I remember speaking to her saying <coughs> everything is just so loud. Well, people say that about me, to be fair. So, do they? me and Georgia do not have inside quiet voices. Weirdest habit I found out about Jill whilst we've been here is that she goes sock, boot, sock, boot. Yeah. Aww. That's weird, right? Yeah. So, like. I think less. Oh, no, less don't do that. So, like, sock, yeah, sock, odd. boot, boot, surely. That's yeah, that's odd. It's even weird more habits? weird that I'm still doing that when I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lacing my boots up when I'm a little, little run around. Oh, I, I, like I don't know people well enough, to be fair, to know what. Um... That's your mission, then, all right, yeah, over the next few days. Odd some, habits. Some weird habits. Yeah, for us. and have I got time for one more? Go on, then. Okay, so Toonie Crispy wants to know. Um, so no free crisps. <laughs> if you had to pick, I like this question. Go on. If you had to pick three lionesses, past or present, to have dinner with, who would they be? Oh. oh that's a hard one. It is a hard one. Well, I'll take Jill. I feel like you have to say yeah, that. Yeah, you have to say that. I like that. this. Yeah. Yeah, same me. Yeah. <laughs> Am I in the three? Or no, the four so you, of us? Yeah, four. Right, yeah. me, Jill. Cascani. Oh, okay. Oh, are you just going to talk to each other because you're bezies? No, you no, me out. I just had an image of her with the salt and pepper giving you tactics. <laughs> yeah. One in behind, one to face. I'll to be fair. Uh, I'll take less because she's my friend as well. Yeah. <laughs> Double date. <laughs> Double date. Jess, it's all right. We'll go get our own dinner. It's all right. No, it's Jess fine. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. Well, keep those questions coming in uh, for all of the Lionesses. We've got a big couple of days coming. We want you to make sure you're using the hashtag Lionesses down under. Any messages of support, any questions for them, get them in. Jill will whittle them down and we'll ask them on the show. Yes. Right. Well, we've got a couple of more questions for you, OK? This is my favourite part of the show. <laughs> You've seen this before. Yes, all right. Uh, and look at this. We're down to only three envelopes now. <laughs> Jess. These like have been I'm written nervous. by your, your teammates, all right? Okay. So they're all anonymous. Um, you'll pick one for each other this time. So you'll pick one, you'll read it out, and you've got right. to answer it. I will say, unfortunately, the one-hour coaching session with Jill Scott, <laughs> Georgia won that one. That, that was the prize that was in it, okay? So Georgia's already had uh, that one, so you can take that. You've got a choice. 
There we go. She right, did so. float away as well, so if you know anybody that wants it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Ella, you can open yours, and then you'll be asking Jess oh, your question. Why is it so hard to open these things, aren't they? Oh, dead bad at opening. Who opened it and then said, do I need to read it out? Oh, who was it? Jordan? Was it? Shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jess, who is the last person on the bus? Lauren James. I've seen her a couple of times now, just casually strolling on. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't expect it to be anyone else, I don't think. Yeah, that's right, a good answer. answer. All right, what, what, what have you got in there for Ella? Which Disney character is most like you? I've no, I don't watch Disney, me. Oh. Oh. All right, we can help with this. Um, Do you watch Disney? Uh, <laughs> He's not. Oh, He's not. Oh, oh, he puts his clothes and dress on. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right OK. Uh, <laughs> You're really excited about these, Disney. Yeah. Well, I am a little princess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. I would say, like, Little Mermaid or something. A little Mermaid? Is that Disney? Great. Yes, I mean, it's all it is. There we go. In the uh, yes, that is Disney. My Little Mermaid. I don't know, just because we're by the sea, you've, like, watching <laughs> the dolphins. <laughs> and I can see you just going and yeah, playing with the love. dolphins. <laughs> all right, I'll take that. You'll take that one, yeah. Uh, would you agree with that, Jess? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. Right, there we are. Jess, I know you had a big, big match last night. I know you've got an even bigger one on Sunday, but are you ready for the ultimate test? I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. Oh. <laughs> so we want you to take on... Dum, dum, dum! The tower. Oh. Right. Well, Ella's already had a go at it, so we're not going to let her do that again yeah. because it's she fair. She wasn't very good, was she? I don't <clears> want to play anymore. Oh, but that's fine. That's fine. 105 <laughs> centimetres, was it? Yeah. 20 points. All right. Your middle of the table, as you can see, Jordan Nobbs and Lucy Bronze, all of you got uh, the same there. Ella, have you got uh, any advice for, for Jess? Um, Jess, what? go around the thing. Go around it because... The gold blocks are the best ones, but they didn't tell me that some of them were on the other side, you know? So it's awful. You cheated me. Yeah, yeah. OK, all right. Also, it always comes you, back to being I know being you're awful. really laid back, so maybe just speed up a little. <laughs> 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 I'm not really you, doing what I'm doing. You only get 30 <laughs> seconds, but while we all give Jess a little team talk, she will take a look at how the lionesses have got on. Right, let's get 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, go! Straight one. in. Oh, don't tumble it. You've got to go quick. No, you need to be quick. You've only had ten seconds. Kyle, I'm not appreciating your commentary. Have a little feel around. I am trying, Jill. Can you roll the ones there? Oh we my go. God! Two at a time. Wow! Ten seconds. Can you? Can you? Five, four, three. Get one more. Get one more. Get one more. Quick, quick, quick! Pull it. Ah! You quick. said pull it. Can you get another one? Another one. Quick, quick, quick! No! Oh! 113 seconds. <laughs> uh, I'm Go so scared on. right now. <laughs> so, Jess, the rules are simple, okay? So, basically, you can tap the blocks out, you can pick them out, you just don't want the tower to tumble. You build two at a time, okay? So that keeps getting higher, obviously. And then the gold ones are worth more points, okay? So, if you get the gold, that's, that's what you want, all right? All right. Have you got oh, any questions? Oh, you just sound confident oh, right here. I feel like I'm nervous. Let's look at the leaderboard. You can see it's pretty stacked right now. Neve Charles still at the top. Shut up. 113. She's so competitive. She was doing two at a time. Two hands, yeah. all right. That's yeah. a tip for you. Uh, who we've got? We all mentioned the middle. Ella, Jordan, Lucy, 105 centimetres. Down at the bottom, uh, Millie and Alessia, they, they, they tumbled, all yeah. right? So they tumbled the tower, zero points. They both blamed me, shot. <laughs> so you can't do that. So if you tumble it, it's not my fault, all right? After having a look at that, you know the rules, feeling confident? Yes, give it a yes. go. Okay, you ready oh, to go for it? Oh, 30 seconds. No, that's it. 30 seconds right. on the clock, you ready? Let's do it. On, Three, two, one, two, one go. go. So you've got to go quick. They're not easy, the we will say that. Go. I know, I know. The like glue's gonna... You have to Round the sides, like Ella said, go round oh, the sides. Okay. Right, go. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, don't take the ball. Go on, you've had 10 seconds. There oh you go, you got five go. points. Go for a gold, go for a gold. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, there you go. You've got another one next to it as well. 
Go around the, you've got another one near it. You've got that other side. And the other side will come out. Then you go, yes, Jeff. Right, you've got five seconds, get a go. Just pull. Go for it. Go on, get it up there. Stop, there you go. Woo! Okay. Right, okay, let's have a look. Well, that was abysmal, wasn't it? No, Five, ten, fifteen points. And one or five. Do you want to come back around this way for us, Jeff? There's no golds in there. I'm not making it. Thanks for the energy, TV. You're welcome. Appreciate that, mate. Five. How many points? 105, 15 points. Okay, oh, so we'll have put Mary you. Earps, just there. Yeah. Oh, I've got my share of them, Earps. Yeah, there you go. You well, can, you can knock her down a little bit. <laughs> 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 no, well done, Jess. That was good. Round of applause for Jess. Amazing, <laughs> amazing, <laughs> amazing. That was good. Right. I know, don't go anywhere. Oh, what? Don't you go? Oh. Come stand oh, right there. Right, yeah. You watch the show, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I know Toonie wasn't a fan. But no, I want you to have me. <laughs> <laughs> every time we have that, and uh, every time I say that's your lot, all right, for Lionesses Down Under today, connected by EE. -E. Everyone in the studio, give a massive round of applause. Jess Carter, Ella Woo! Toon. Woo! And don't go anywhere, because tomorrow we will have Chloe Kelly right here. And remember, you can catch us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Facebook. Oh. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All the platforms right there. Look out for us. As always, 12.30, you'll be able to find us. And make sure, I'm saying this right now because people are saying we're not choosing them. Get your questions in, all right? Use the hashtag Lionesses down under. Any questions, any messages of support, we want to hear from you. So it's toodle-doo, final two. <laughs>